Hello, this is Nick. Today I'm going to go over File to Backup, um, a cloud backup software. I'm going to go over the features and why I recommend it. So um, basically, I have the web page here, openfiletobackup.com, but uh, you should already have the software installed on your system. And to open it up, you can go to the bottom right hand corner and you'll see uh, File to Backup and then your account name. Um, if we right click on it we get a couple different options. I'm just going to go through the different options and the features as we go along. If you right click and hit status it just lets us know if anything's being backed up currently right now. Um, file to sync, this is another feature that you probably aren't being uh, using but uh, you can view more of that on the website. Uh, you could pause the transfers. You'd want to do that if maybe you're backing up a lot of data and it might be slowing down your internet connection. If you don't have a super fast internet connection, you could pause your, your transfers temporarily. Uh, we can go to manage backups. And this is basically going to show us what's currently being backed up on the system. Um, so let's say there was a folder maybe that, that you wanted backed up that, that's not currently being backed up. You could just basically check that off and then that would start backing up that folder. Um, also on the settings tab we can see how often it's scanning looking for new files to back up right now by default it scans every hour um, constantly looking to back up now there's some exceptions of files it's not going to back up and that's some exe files link files um, if you want you can uncheck these and it'll back up everything um, but def normally you wouldn't want these files backed up anyway because they're not really too important um, so that's the defaults there. Generally, I would recommend you back up, you know, your My Documents folder, your Pictures folder, music, uh, videos, things like that. And if they have anything like QuickBooks, uh, try to find the folder where QuickBooks is and, and back that up. There's two ways you can go about backing up. You can go in here. You can also just browser to the file or folder, and it's, it's this folder right here. You right we can right click on the folder, hit file to backup, and hit backup with file to backup. So that's another way to do it. Um, let's go to the next feature. Okay, so let's say you, you've gone in, you by accident deleted a file. You can quickly restore the files, and you can do that by just right clicking on it and hit restore files. This is going to go out to the cloud and it's going to look for your computer. If you have a couple computers, you actually might be have to choose the computer. Uh, depending if you have just one computer or multiple computers on this account. So you find your computer and then you find the file that you're looking to restore. And let's go through, just find something on the desktop here. So like let's say this was the file you wanted to restore, you just basically hit restore and then you can decide where you want to restore it on your computer. So it's a pretty quick, easy way to get your files back up and running. It backs up about 30 copies of the same file. So if you keep modifying the same Word document, it would keep about 30 revisions. Uh, you can also view their files online just through a web interface. This is nice if you want to share your files or if you want to, um, you can actually email a, a file if you'd like. Um, but this is a nice feature just to be able to look through your files online. And then we have the last option here is the settings tab, which is basically showing, showing you which version you're on of the software. Um, if there's any problems, you can run a fix here. Bandwidth, if your internet's pretty slow, you could lower this. Um, by default, unlimited should be fine. Security, by default, it encrypts all the files going between your computer and the cloud. So um, the reason that I like file to backup is it's unlimited storage. Uh, a lot of times if you go out there and look at other backup products, they're not going to be unlimited. They're going to basically get to a certain size and then you're going to basically have to pay for extra gigabytes and things of that nature. Um, it's 100% it's encrypted, you know, basically government level en encryption. Um, it's continual backup, so it's constantly backing up. If there's a fire, if there's a theft, you know your files are backed up off-site. Um, it's very common for hard drives to fail nowadays, so you, you know you're protected against that. Um, it, it's always good to have a local backup in addition to an off-site backup, but this is if you have a laptop or something like that, and you just maybe don't 
remember to, to throw your files on a thumb drive or an external hard drive, then this is a great option for you. Um, so the two main things in my mind are always backups and security. And when I think security, I think antivirus. So having those two things uh, is super important for me. So that about rounds it up. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. And if you like the video, give me a thumbs up. Thanks.